Hey guys, Lake Fork guide Greg West. I'm here with Hat Cam Bass today on Lake Fork. End of June, we're coming into July, and the deep bite here at Lake Fork is starting to get really good. Guys, see, these, uh, these are some of the baits I'm throwing right now here at Lake Fork. Uh, my go-to bait right now has been a uh, VNM three-quarter ounce football head jig. Uh, the crawdad color and green pumpkin have worked best for me. I'm putting a green pumpkin trailer on the back. Uh, I'm throwing it out there on the bottom. I'm dragging it. I'm stroking it. I'm hopping it. You kind of let every day kind of let the fish tell me what to do. But this bait right here has been putting some big fish in the boat for me. Uh, I'm throwing it on a 7.3 medium heavy Fitzgerald rod. 20 pound Seaguar, Shimano Metanium, and 8 to 1. I like a really fast gear ratio because when they hit it, uh, you set the hook. A lot of times those big fish are coming straight to the top. So I want a really fast reel to catch up with them. Um, go to bait for me right now, the VNM football jig. Uh, also, out deep, another bait that has been really key for me is a Magnum Shaky Head. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce Shaky Head. I'm throwing a, you know, a mag finesse worm on it. Uh, Really been key for me, red bug, June bug, you know, watermelon candy, whatever's your favorite color. But the, this is just another presentation. If they don't quite want the football jig, they want something just a little bit smaller. Uh, this is just a finessier presentation that you can throw. And I've caught a lot of good fish on it this last two weeks. Uh, I'm throwing it on a seven foot heavy Fitzgerald rod, 15 pound Seaguar, uh, six five to one Shimano Cronart. This will get it done for you. Um, also here out deep, uh, a lot of times you ever see them suspended or if I find a school that's right on the bottom and I can't get them fired up with the jig, a lot of times I throw the big crankbait in there. Uh, the Striking 8XD has been working the best for me. Uh, I'm throwing it on uh, Seaguar 15 pound line. Uh, I'm throwing it on a 7 foot cranking Fitzgerald rod. Uh, 6 5 to 1 gear ratio, guys, I know it's a workout, but throwing that bigger crankbait and getting it down there on the bottom and really dredging the bottom can really fire up some big key bites. So uh, don't forget to have the crankbait in your arsenal this summer. Uh, last but not least, a swim bait. Uh, you know, whether I'm fishing off a main lake or secondary point or I find them there on the bottom in about 15 to 20, a lot of times I'll throw this swim bait out and I'll just let it go to the bottom, crank it four or five times real fast, let it sink, uh, and you can sometimes trigger a whole school that way. Uh, I'm throwing this on a 7.3 medium heavy Fitzgerald, 20 pound Seaguar, Shimano Metanium. Uh, when I'm fishing offshore right now, I'm fishing anywhere from about 15 to 28 foot deep. I'm looking for humps, main lake points, secondary points, any offshore structure. Sometimes I'm fishing brush piles as well. Uh, you really got to use your electronics this time of year. I really turn my Lorances on and I look and I look and I look and I don't stop till I see them. And I promise you when you see them and you throw that buoy out and you start fishing that waypoint, it all pays off. You know, when I throw a football jig, there's a couple ways I do it. And you really got to let the fish kind of tell you how they want it. Uh, a lot of times I'm throwing it out there and I'm crawling it and I'm dragging it. If I don't get bit doing that, sometimes those fish just want a real slow presentation, whether I'm coming over wood, timber, rock, whatever it is, or dragging it down a point. Uh, you know, the other way to, to throw a football jig and you really get some big bites this summer doing it is, is what we call stroking a football jig. Uh, I'm taking this, you know, V&M, uh, three quarter ounce in, uh, in crawl dad color is my favorite and when I say stroking a football jig what I do is we'll make a cast out here I let that jig hit the bottom and I'm gonna violently pulsate this jig off the bottom I'll grab my uh, rod down here at the bottom and I'll two or three times just violently stroke it on and off the bottom what this does is that fish will be down there and he'll be looking at that jig and you'll start stroking that jig and you're getting a pure reaction bite out of these fish uh, stroking a football jig here at Lake Fork in the summertime can be deadly, so next time you're out here, make sure you guys are stroking a jig. Hopefully this will help you guys out on your next trip out to Fork, and uh, y'all make sure and stay tuned into Hat Cam Bass for more videos.